Hi everybody, hope you're well. Welcome to the channel. It'd be really good if you'd uh, just hit that subscription button. And if you like the video, give it a quick thumbs up. Make any comments in the comment section down below. So it's a glorious January day, sun shining, and I thought what better time for me to give the uh, KTM a very quick clean. So um, let's crack on and do it. So I had my KTM now uh, for about nine months. It's a 2021 build. Um, I've actually had no problems with it at all since I've owned it. The only problem I had was before I took possession of it, uh, it needed a new battery uh, as the battery from the factory was uh, goosed. So uh, that's the only problem I ha I've had with it. Um, obviously, I've gone for the uh, stealth mode, so I've put some black plastics on it as well. And obviously, <laughs> those orange wheels are a bugger to keep clean, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, I had a, a Repsol Fireblade before, and again, those had orange wheels, so that's nothing new to me. Again, just take the time to have a quick look around the bike, just to make sure uh, you've got no leaks. Uh, historically, uh, these KTMs, uh, I think maybe the first gen of uh, 890Rs have had a couple of issues, as have the 790s, but hopefully in 2021, uh, they sorted all those out. Uh, basically, uh, the front sprocket seal, uh, that caused an issue uh, but i've had no leaks always good to have a, a little look um, down under the bike once it's been parked in the garage overnight to see if you've got any telltale signs um, obviously the i think they've had some leaks on the top of the uh, seals on the uh, engine block uh, uh, and the other side as well but again i've had no issues with uh, any leaks whatsoever and the little hole here uh, that's just a water drain hole if you get any water in the top uh, uh, it will just drain out here in case you're wondering what that is and obviously you've got the uh, thermostat uh, just under here again that has caused a few issues but the 2021 model uh, I've had no issues with mine whatsoever um, and obviously the, at the front of the bike you've got the oil cooler which can be a little bit susceptible uh, to stone chips so have a good look at that uh, whilst you're uh, out and about giving it a clean just to make sure uh, it's not damaged at some point I may see if I can put a cover a protective cover on that um, but other than that, um, check out all the other videos I've done on the bike. So uh, let's crack on and give it a clean. Come on guys, out of the way. So first things first then, I've just got the bike over a drain cover. And I'm just going to use this uh, 1 to 10 mix of citrus pre-wash. And then I'll uh, just let it soak for a few minutes and then hose it off. Yeah, so I'm just going to go over the bike with a bit of pre-wash. Just go around the bike and give it a a pre-wash again under here get quite a bit of debris being kicked up uh, coming onto the uh, rear shock and the uh, the the way that the swinging arm is uh, manufactured and molded and certainly down here you get sort of bits of debris um, uh, pooling in here so uh, we'll get those out with the uh, with the stone with the with the stones get those stones out uh, with a hose a little bit later on but it's it's a really pretty easy bike to keep clean in reality um, obviously I'm cleaning it when it's cold so nothing bakes on um, yeah just give it a good old soak with, with this pre-wash stuff so I've had bikes for years so and this is how I clean them obviously don't try not to get too much stuff on the tires if you can help it on the calipers again this is just a pre-wash and then what I'll do it at the end of it, I'll give it everything a good covering of uh, uh, ACF 50 or whatever else you guys use, but I use ACF 50 and that's pretty good. And what's the other issues you get with it? Um, yeah, the thermostat, I don't know if I mentioned that, the thermostat that sort of uh, sits up and lives behind uh, up here. Uh, you can get some leaks from there, but as I said, I've done, I don't know, 2,000 miles on the bike and I've had absolutely uh, no problems with it other than the having an initial problem with the battery that was uh, sorted out before I actually took possession of the bike. Um, so yeah, so pre-wash and give it a bit of a rinse. Yeah, I don't use too, too narrow a jet of water to take the stuff off. So this is just getting rid of the pre-wash. So just avoid all the main areas where electronics are sort of under there. Uh, you've got this uh, fuel injection bit there and obviously under the back seat uh, you've got the a uh, lot of the electronic stuff is there as well. So try not to loiter too far on the back seat. And lovely design there. Get a bit of a, a pooling damming uh, thing going on here. 
So that's all off now. I'm just going to use this uh, pretty good stuff. Muck off. Used it uh, quite a few times on uh, several of my bikes. It did sort of stain my uh, alloy swinging arm on my fire blade, but uh, on this one, it doesn't seem to have uh, any problems at all. So good old coat on the rear wheels. So obviously they might have changed the, the recipe, shall we say. But yeah, just sort of spray it liberally all over. But brake calipers, front wheels, anywhere where you're gonna get brake dust accumulating, uh, train oil, etc. Um, yeah, so that's it, down on the oil cooler down there. Get all that crap off, up on the engine there. And you can see I've got the uh, guard protector on there from EvoTech. That's on the web, somewhere, uh, channel somewhere where I fitted that. Uh, on the underside. And then you can hose it all off and go make a cup of tea. In my case, I'm just using some Auto Glim shampoo and conditioner, which is actually from my motorhome, which is just over there. Uh, but yeah, whatever your preferred choice of shampoo is. And then I've just got one of these uh, mittens that I use. I used, did used to use the two bucket method, but I can't be bothered anymore. So good old dollop in there of that stuff. And then away we go. So I have to admit though that the, uh, out of all the bikes I've had over the years, the KTM is, uh, it's an absolute doddle to keep clean. Again, I'm a fair weather rider. Don't go out in the rain unless I get caught out. Must have been out for a quick ride. But yeah, it's an absolute doddle to keep clean. Uh, but like all these new bikes, when you go out in the rain, it does seem to throw up quite a bit on the underside. So yeah, just give it a good old clean under here. Round by the shock absorber. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty easy bike to keep clean. And then hose it off again. Yeah guys, so with a bike dry, I thoroughly recommend you get one of these. They're just so good for getting the bike dry. It'll take about five to 10 minutes to clean the bike off. And the good thing is you can get into all, all the nooks and crannies. So folks, the bike is nice and dry and I've put the bike in the man cave and we're just gonna do the uh, wheels now. Tried and tested method, uh, I've used this for years on all my bikes, including the Repsol Fireblade with those lovely orange wheels. Uh, get yourselves some rubber gloves, loads of rags, uh, the good old, dare I say it, WD-40. I've already done these wheels anyway. Um, so all you need to do, quick square out on the rag, and then literally obviously not getting any of the product on your tires because you will fall off a bit slippery is that's all you do and it gets all the oil off and you can go around the uh, center hub uh, and even do the chain as well if you want but for years i've been using this method and it's never let me down uh, wheels have come up amazingly well and it gets all the crap off and just put the gloves on because obviously the chain and all the stuff that gets flung on the rear wheel uh, you're going to get very mucky so yeah definitely get some gloves so that's the wheels front and rear done so the only thing left for me to do other than uh, the plastics and bodywork with a bit of polish is to just give the engine and all the other uh, non-rubber bits on the bike a little bit of protection and with that in mind i use acf 50 other products are on the market now which uh, may be better than that but this is what i use because i've still got about two liters of the stuff i haven't got a compressor the compressor is the best way to put a fine misting on it 
Um, obviously, when you do that, there's videos on the internet. People put blankets over the tyres and stuff to avoid getting that stuff uh, on the tyres because uh, you will fall off if you get it on your tyres, I suspect. Um, obviously, don't get it on your footrests or your throttle or your uh, clutch um, grips because, uh, uh, yeah, it makes it very, very slippery. So all I do is on the rag, I've already done the bike prior to making this video, so just give it a good liberal wipe over. And you can see out the can, it's just a, it's not a very good, good spray. Um, that's why you need to really put it in a compressor, which sadly I haven't got. They do say that you get a better misting in a, in a little garden bottle if you warm the stuff up, put it in some water. Um, but the other way to do it is, I also put some liquid in here, some of the OCF 50 in here, and then just go around like this. And that's it. Uh, the only thing, guys, I will show is you have the rear ABS sensor line here. Some of the forums have said uh, that just here, uh, just because the way it's not that secure, there is a chance that the ABS sensor cable here can actually uh, work its way and then rub against uh, the tyre. So I've just put a, a cable tie on here and just clipped it. So. Uh, that's not going to go anywhere so if you haven't done that maybe just have a look see how close the abs sensor uh, cable is getting to your rear tire and if need be uh, put a cable tie on well that's it folks come to the end of the video now the bike's looking amazing it's got nice coating of acf 50 that'll see it through the winter months when i take it out and about when the weather's dry hope you found the video interesting give us a big uh, thumbs up and hit that subscription button if you want to but in the meantime that's it from me i think i'll do another video uh, when the weather's a little bit dry in the next few days I think I'm going to go out and try the launch control. But in the meantime, I'm going to take these two Muppets out for a walk. Take care and ride safe. Bye.